Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages, and this is uh, the show coming to you from New York. If you don't mind me saying, I can see that you all survived Irene. Yay! Yes, 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 yes. Many Nigerians here in New York use different tricks to survive. Some hid in their basements like Muammar Gaddafi. Some spread wide nets up in the air hoping to kidnap Irene. I simply left her a note on my door. My note said, Home to the deposed Deji of Akure. Abandon hope, all you women who enters here. She got the message and stayed away. <laughs> Though he doesn't live in America, a different kind of hurricane hit our dear president. What? Yeah, oh. his first book friends turned against him. Oh. oh, yeah. I guess I've lived too long abroad. What again does an African do when his dog bites him? Eat it! Run! Eat them? Yeah. Yeah, well, that was what President Jonathan did last weekend. He first defriended them, and then he ate them all. Oh, yeah. Some of those ex-friends of the president were mad that he vowed to bring terrorism under control, but not to wipe it out. Others were mad that the president said it was the turn of Nigeria to suffer a terrorist attack. If you ask me, it was all Ruben Abate's fault. The only lines he should have put in the mouth of the president were, My brethren, I reject this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please say hallelujah. hallelujah. It is not our portion. No. Hallelujah. I call on the Holy Ghost fire to return it back to the sender. Yes. Fire for fire. Check it out. That will have done it. All his friends will have shouted, Amen. But Reuben wanted the president to show off his Ojolewa PhD thesis. <laughs> Now, those ex-friends who criticize the president will never be ministers or win any contract. Mm. From now on, they will fail every SSS security screening. That is why you cannot catch me writing on the president's Facebook page. <laughs> I go straight to Boko Haram's Facebook page to express my opinion. Mm. It is outside the radar of Nigeria's intelligence agencies. <laughs> As a result of this Facebook debacle, <laughs> President Jonathan last week appointed Reno Omokori as his special assistant on new media. Yes, yes, the same Reno who updates his Facebook page. Oh, oh, you look disappointed. Were you thinking that your president does that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ruben Abati has now moved over to the special assistant on old media. The, the two jobs are slightly different. Hmm. Why Reno bribes supporters using PayPal and Western Union, <laughs> Ruben does the same thing using the good old brown envelopes and Ghana must go bags. <laughs> Did you all see that? See what? what? Did you see that bump? What, what bump? bump? That was exactly what the poor, deficient President Obama said when he had people in the White House talking about the bump. Yes, everyone is excited at Beyonce's baby bump. After the award, many young girls, fans of Beyonce, vow to get their own bumps. Oh. They want to go through all the dramas of the trimesters with their role model. Oh, and guess what? Some hip-hop stars have vowed to make sure that it happens for these girls. Oh. In in including our own two-faced Dibia. <laughs> or, or, or what do you think he meant when he said that he was coming to America for a better deal. <laughs> Talking about Two-Face, early this week, there was a rumor that he died in a skiing accident. What? what? Yeah, I know. As far as I know, nothing like that will kill Two-Face. If the rumor had said sexually transmitted disease, oh. I would have taken it seriously. Oh. <laughs> Still out of habit, Mr. Paul Mwabiku the special assistant to Madam Ngozi Okonjo Iwala issued a press statement denying the rumor. He said the information was completely false and without foundation. <laughs> he wrote, and I quote, We are aware that the baseless falsehood is part of ongoing orchestrated campaign by entrenched interests and corrupt groups 
working against more transparent and improved hip hop in the country. Too much English. Cuckoo, cuckoo, yeah. you see, maybe. He assured music lovers, however, that Two Face will not be distracted by anything without boobs. <laughs> In the world of science, African scientists are reporting that mosquitoes are disappearing in Africa. That's good. Oh, yeah. Good. In a study published in Malaria Journal, these scientists say that they do not know why. First of all, I can't understand why that is a problem. Can you? No. Yeah. Oh, but I think I know why mosquitoes are disappearing. The mosquitoes decided to get the hell out of Africa before Nigeria's satellites expose their hideouts. <laughs> Tell them, brother. <laughs> Little did they know that our satellites are busy taking pictures of New Zealand. <laughs> Even when Flood was wiping out a battle, our satellites were focused on Obasanjo as he drank Gary in New York. <laughs> Despite all the controversies, actress Mercy Johnson married her heart throb over yes, the weekend. She did. It was a beautiful ceremony attended mwah, by mwah, Who mwah, is mwah. Who in Nollywood. <laughs> Immediately after her mother collected her diary, she told guests that love has won. Mm. The same statement was expressed by Arsenal football fans after they were walloped by Manchester United last week. <laughs> <laughs> to ask no fans, I say, remember that winning is not everything. What? After all, you guys can join the Nigerian Premier League and defeat the Enyim Balfabia Aba Football Club every week. <laughs> <laughs> winning is not everything. Muammar Gaddafi realized that this week. Speaking through his spokesman, Gaddafi made an offer to transfer power to rebels. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. Not to be outdone, Jonathan offered to move Nigeria's capital to Yeneg Yenegoa so that Boko Haram can have Abuja dear Abuja. Oh, <laughs> In other news, the former vice president uh, of America, Dick Cheney, has just published his memoir. Yeah. It is called In My Time. Oh. Chapter 11 of the book dealt with the time he was the CEO of Halliburton. He discussed the charge that he bribed senior Nigerian officials like Olusegun Obasanjo, wow. Abdul Salami Abubakar. Wow. and led General Sani Abacha. Hmm. Wow. In that chapter, he mocked Nigeria's threat to arrest him. <laughs> <laughs> he described Nigerians as idiots. Oh, oh no! Oh, yeah. Really? It takes idiots to be ruled by idiots, Dick Cheney wrote. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a, wait, 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 wait a minute. I think I'm mixing things up. That was Buhari's failed vice president, Tunde Bakere. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. After that fierce sermon by Bakare, where he called Nigerians idiots, the National Security Advisor went to President Jonathan and said, we have to do something about that crazy man because he's inciting people to revolt. Mm. Mm. Wow. It's about time. Without dropping his glass of Ogogoro, President Jonathan said, did he set himself on fire as an example to others? No, the National Security Advisor said. Well, then, there is no reason to worry, the President said. Go back to whatever it is you do with the 200 billion Naira we budget for you every year. Just a quick note to Tunde Bakare. I was the first Nigerian to say I am an idiot. So please, tell me something I don't know. <laughs> Now, your emails. Okay, our first email is from Edwin. Edwin wrote from Virginia Beach, Virginia. He said, I'm a male nurse. I want to work for you. Why are you discriminating against male nurses? <laughs> <laughs> male nurse? <laughs> Seriously? I've never heard of that. You have male nurses, Nigerians? I can't believe that. Okay. If there are male nurses out there, how come none of your wives has killed any of you? <laughs> just, just, just ask it. Just ask it. Our second email is from Ekene 
Ekene wrote in from Germany. He said, um, I saw a picture of President Jonathan in suit. He looks so smart. Why doesn't he wear more of that than this stupid Niger Delta attire that makes him look stupid? Uh, Ekene, I, I don't like you calling our president stupid. That's disrespectful. That is my job. On your question, it is all about image control. The president may look smart in a suit, but look at him in a street cloth. Doesn't he look like another Niger Delta militant? Be careful what you ask for. Uh, the next email is from uh, Kunle. Kunle wrote in from Lagos. Kunle said, Dear Dr. Damages, I understand the hammer st stethoscope thing going there, but why in the world do you wear shower cap? Kunle, Kunle, you are an idiot. A compound idiot. This is not shower cap. This is surgical cap. You idiot Nigerians. Do your doctors wash their hands before they operate on you? Idiot. And you see a doctor that covers his hair and you have the audacity to make fun of him. Who born you? Who idiots have idiots act as their doctors? Anyway, I'll, I'll see you guys next week. Until then, stay safe. Stupid, stupid idiot Nigerians.